And so on to round two. The scorecards have now been wiped clean. Everybody starts with a nice big zero. And it'll be the man with the least amount of penalty points at the end who finishes up the winner. This is Graham Jarvis. That's a foot down, so that will cost him one penalty point. This is him on section one. This is the only section that they won't actually ride in the reverse direction. This is where Graham did rather well in the first round, but not unfortunately this time. That will be a five scored there as he bails out the side. On then to section two, and Dougie Lampkin here on the little wooden hooks. This is ridden in the reverse direction to before. Very, very slippy still. And you can see there the back tyre, very, very little pressure, only something like four or five pounds of pressure in the tyres on these machines. That's to help them get the grip. Lampkin, of course, on a new bike. This is the Montessa, the first time he's actually ridden it in competition. He spent 10 years, you'll remember, with Beta. He seems to be getting better and better as the night goes on on his new machine. Big handful of gas, and it's gonna be up the side of the wooden hut and across the roof. There he goes, no feet down, so that's a clean. Now Graham Jarvis, and he smacks the sump of his machine there into the wooden block. That's definitely not the way to do it. Five points there. Here's Dougie Lampkin. Slightly different approach. That seems to be the way to attack this section. Balance lined up, across the top, and out for yet another zero. Perfect so far. This is section five, and Steve Collett, the man from the Isle of Man, revving up there. Total concentration, big handful of throttle, and up the top of the cable drum. Perfect balance there, holding the bike on the brakes, feather in the clutch. Concentration, determination on his face, and he's across the top. It seems to have a problem there. He's not put a foot down yet, so no penalty points yet. Weight over the back wheel to get the grip. Ease the bike over the top. Now he needs to get the bike balanced across this small cable drum. And he's having trouble there getting the back wheel actually onto it. He needs to get it just a couple of inches on. And then it's a big handful of gas. And a leap across and a leap upwards to the final part of this section. Slight problem with balance here. And eventually, and he smacked the sump into the side, and he's off completely. So that's another five for Steve Colley. That could be disastrous. Here's Mark Colomay now. Similar problems here. Can't get the sump of the bike across the cable drum. And he's, well, he appears to have had enough. Yes, he's had enough. He's, he's going to bail out the side, and he'll take five points there. So what can the current world champion do? Here's Dougie Lampkin straight across the top, much more power and a bit more speed. That seems to be the way it's done. Now this is the part where Steve Collett came to grief. Here's Dougie, perfectly balanced. A bit more power perhaps is what's needed. And there he goes across and clean. Superb riding. But even though he's world champion, not everything goes quite according to plan. Here he is on section four. Oh, and he's well off the side there, completely off the machine. And that could have been a nasty fall. He'll score five points, which he really didn't need. But he appears to be okay. Just holding his wrist there. On then to the rocks section. This is section number six. This is a section ridden in completely the reverse direction to previously. And here's Graham Jarvis, 24-year-old Englishman riding a bull taco. Presently ranked number four in the world of both indoor and outdoor trials. And he's had an excellent ride this evening. Tremendous concentration on his face. One finger on the brake, one finger on the clutch. Extremely light controls on all of these machines, feather light. and having a good ride so far on this section. See the bike there, perfectly balanced between the two rocks. He needs now to land the back wheel somewhere close to where the front tyre is now. 
And there you go. Perfectly done. Section isn't over yet. He needs to get across to the other rocks where there's actually some water surrounding them. Makes things slightly more difficult. Now for this big step here. Step up onto the top there where the water is being pumped up and then turn through 90 degrees. Sounds simple. It is not. Water on the tyres there, so very little grip on the top. Now this is the tricky bit. The front tyre needs to be on the pointed rock which is in front of him there. Just like that, he'll hold the bike now on the brakes, regain his balance. And he needs to now land the back wheel again somewhere close to where the front tyre is and then use that rock to drive down and eventually out of the section. And there he does it superbly well. Quick turn, section's not over yet, he could still drop points. And eventually he's out. So this is Lampkin and Colley now on the race over the tyres. At this point, Dougie Lampkin is three points ahead of Steve Colley. So he has three penalty points less. So he can afford to let Steve Colley actually win this race, which he does quite easily. So Steve Colley gets no penalty points and Dougie Lampkin collects one. So two points the difference now into the very final race of the evening. Providing Lampkin completes this without a foul, without a five, He'll be the victor here tonight. And they're up the ramp. And he, no penalty points for Dougie Lampkin. Steve Colley wins that race. But Lampkin wins the evening and takes the honours by a single point.